Hello, my name is David Roach. I'm a composer from Tredegar and my piece of music, The Harp of Wales, is based on a speech given by David Lloyd George at the National Eistedfod in 1916. The recording I used as a basis for my piece was made by the BBC in 1934. This speech was given in response to a letter published in the Times that suggested the Eistedfod would be cancelled due to the war. In his speech, David Lloyd George argues that music making should continue despite the crisis. I think the idea of perseverance, especially in music making, is extremely relevant in our current times and, although there were an enormous number of beautiful items in the sound archive, this speech connected with me the most. I'm uneasy about my relationship with my heritage. Last year was the first time I'd participated in an Eisteddfod in some way since I was a child. It was an unexpectedly important thing for me and I felt like this piece of music would help me connect with, if not untangle, some of those knots. The piece itself is based entirely on the rhythm of the phrase, why should we not sing? Or rather, the phrase, why should we not something, you know, insert word there. The repetition of these words indicates salient structural points in David Lloyd George's speech. The repetition of my musical idea indicates important events in my piece. It's about reiterating an idea over and over again. That's what a speech needs to do. The title is taken from Lloyd George's speech too. He remarked that despite all the social and geopolitical issues over the last hundred years, the harp of Wales has never yet been silenced. I like the idea of persisting or demanding for joy, soothing or something similar through music. However utterly awful the world may seem, things will get better, hold on. My guitar is tuned to D-A-D-G-A-D, pronounced Dadgad. It's a tuning associated with Celtic and folk music. It makes the key of D major, the key of my piece, particularly accessible and it allowed me to make unusually excessive use of the broad ringing timbres of the open strings of the guitar. The harp is a modal instrument, so tuning the guitar in a way that forces it into even fewer keys felt like a way of dialoguing with harp repertoire. I like the idea of comparing the Welsh lineages of harp and the classical guitar, specifically as they relate to me and my experience of growing up in Wales. I learned to write music by playing guitar, I learned to play guitar by playing with local musicians and people in bands. To me, it is an instrument um, deeply embedded within the culture of the Welsh Valleys. I know the harp is the national instrument of Wales, but to me it's still worlds away from my creative practice. Forging and embracing musical connections between these heritages allows me to create some sort of mental and emotional dialogue with Wales's past and who I am today. It kind of makes me feel more Welsh. This piece uses a specific type of guitar tremolo. I would say that the most famous piece that uses this technique is Memories of Alhambra, and totally unsurprisingly, I had to learn this piece when I was younger. I've enjoyed writing tremolo pieces like this ever since I had to learn that piece. They're incredibly challenging, they demand an enormous amount of attention, and they're beautiful. For the purposes of this piece, writing in this way allowed me to have a broad, constant and insistent ringing. The warmth and constancy of the sound makes me think of being outside, existing in a, in a natural environment, a constant cool breeze under blue skies. It really makes me think of the landscapes I've enjoyed when driving across Wales too. This rigid technical device is contrasted with a freer left hand that, on the score, looks absolutely horrifying. I'm not gonna lie, this ended up being one of the hardest pieces I've ever written for guitar. But at the same time, it's also very, very fluid. The right hand stays the same, the left hand does its own thing. Either way, it's really, really hard. To me, this piece is fundamentally about identity. What my instrument means to me, what my nationality means to me, and how this feeds into who I want to be. I hope you enjoy listening to it.